welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm just gonna be doing kind of like a glowy kind of natural like summery makeup kind of look um also don't mind if my face looks a little red um i filmed a video before and i just wasn't happy with it and i had used red face paint um like yeah um but yeah let's get on with the video um but actually before we do that sorry we can't get on the video with on the video yet um don't forget to like subscribe turn on those post notifications so you never miss another video now let's get on with the video let's go I'm moisturize with my elf holy hydration um moisturizer um but now we are going to put on some spf Okay, um, it's this Kola one, or Kula, I don't know, I'm trying to pose this, guys, kind of like measure sunscreen out on like three fingers, I need like about three teaspoons, so, um, yeah, but this, um, is Farm and Face Antioxidant Enriched Cruelty Free Gluten Free Vegan and reef friendly so i love that um i've always noticed it here and then to stick with the spf i'm gonna go with the next bear with me spf primer and all the products i'm going with are cruelty free also for the longest time i did not know there was such a thing as uh you had to use like gluten or there was gluten free products until one time I was looking at my deodorant um it was also gluten free and I guess like even for some people if they get gluten on the skin they can't do that either so yeah there's your fact of the day but now let's move on for foundation I'm gonna go with the morphe um to like tinted moisturizer and it's in the whitish shade here I'm just applying it to the back of my hand Grabbing a brush here. It's a little red looking, but I did kind of wash it. Like, I, I washed it, but. I really like this. I just got rid of a bunch of my makeup, so. Yeah. Ooh, I think some of that red, maybe. I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of warming up. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm on the side that doesn't have as much red. So, yeah. So I did not need to put foundation here because I don't really like applying too much foundation if I'm going to be, um, like, uh, putting concealer there. I just feel like it looks less cakey. And that's okay. There's just a little bit. Mm, but yeah. So if I know it looks good. I mean, I mostly wipe it off. Like, I did double cleanse, but I had some muscle in the nose. So, yeah. I did, I did a video where I was, like, the color wheel sucks for makeup. I just wasn't liking how it was looking. I know it's, like, a color wheel, so it's gonna be, like, random colors. But just, it looked bad. I did not like it. Also, why does my teeth look so yellow on camera? Like, they're not this yellow. I mean, they're more yellow, but it's normal to have yellow teeth. Like... You don't have to worry about like whitening it or anything because yeah i brushed my teeth the night for like mostly two minutes so yeah also i did dampen this but that was because the last video i did i just needed something bigger but usually i don't like to dampen my beauty blenders because i feel like it kind of makes the makeup break apart also this is the eco tools beauty blender and this is an eco tools brush so yeah concealer i'm gonna go with the rare beauty concealer love this concealer i love the cap for the longest time i thought it was rounded but it's not it's flat but it's still cool honestly with a little more I'm just kind of extend that out also because also kind of applying some of my nose area here only because I had red there um but yeah Ooh, should I apply 
cream blush and then like bronzer and then blend it out at once. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll bring up some bronzer and cream blush. Blush. First, actually, what I'm going to do is let me so help this kind of get rid of this new redness. Kind of uh, rip it off on the sponge. I will go with a full on wash and look with some soap and conditioner. I have to go with like a, um, like I go with like some body wash and a conditioner. Just because like, we don't use our body wash as much. I mean, I don't use it that much. I don't think my brother constantly uses it, so I'll go with that and some conditioner. This may be too much cream blush, but yeah, I want the elf one. It's really nice to putty cream blush. Then go with the milk cup bronzer, like balm and stuff. Okay. I've seen people do this and it always just looks gorgeous, so we're going to do that. I feel like even if it is too much cream blush, the concealer will kind of help tone it out. So, yeah. Ooh, it did. Maybe you want to go with a little more cream brush. Okay. Um, I love the new makeup bronzer. Like, stick fits really nice. It kind of just gives this lovely just glow. It just looks gorgeous. Another thing I like to do sometimes is mix like some type of glow thing like this Milani strobe stuff like with some concealer that looks really nice too I loved going with the strobe cream from MAC but MAC's not cruelty free so yeah we're not gonna do that I'm going with a little more cream brush just cuz I feel like the concealer toned it out I mean it was still pretty good honestly but okay okay now we're gonna move on to my brows and eyes, so I'll see you on some brows. I'm going to grab some setting spray here. It's just the Bear With Me one. Um, and then I'm going to this Makeup Revolution, like, brow styler stuff. Um, I'm going to have to wash this again, because I had to... I was using that last video, but I had to wash it, because when you go to, with too much of it, it kind of just starts to, like, harden on. But here's what I do. So I kind of start by slicking it up a little bit um like so i'll go like that and then go with just a little more and then after going like that i kind of go like this it looks really nice because sometimes like i can like slick my brows up like this nicely but then um i feel like oh sorry there's a mirror over here um i feel like it just doesn't look even so that's why I kind of just go like that oh you cannot see what I'm doing I'm all right I'm gonna go with a little more setting spray I'm sorry there's a mirror over here and I just didn't set up my camera very good so this is what it's looking like so I go Kind of like this and then I go like that well I have a mirror why, why didn't I bother to use this and then same thing on this side Excuse me. Well, I probably didn't even hear that but I did have a very small bit I love this soap styler for Makeup Revolution. I saw it a while ago and just had been meaning to get it. And then I finally was pushed to get it when it kind of started trending. Like everyone was talking about it. And then, of course, that's when we decided to get it. And then it's kind of just hard to find, although it wasn't that hard. But, you know. Okay, and now we're going to fill them in. Um, I don't 
pull out I did not pull out my brow powder stuff but let me go grab that and I'll be right back Charles Murphy palette I just have a brown shade in there that I use um I should paint this palette and cover up the cheeks one more um I've seen people like remove it with like acid home but I want to make my palette look pretty I'm gonna do like a sunset like a pinky purple sunset and then add some clouds I kind of just lightly fill it in I mean, it's not my exact brow shade, but that's okay. It's not that bad. And it may look a little darker on camera, I don't know. I feel like it does. Um, but yeah, soon I'll be switching to eco-friendly makeup. I already have a bunch of eco-friendly makeup tools, like... I have some bamboo ones and then the eco tools and I keep them in this like eco tools eyeshadow box. They're not that expensive honestly. Like they're only ten dollars the brush set. And I didn't admire but I know you can get it at Ulta. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Walmart because I went to Walmart like once. But I usually go to Meyer and like Target or uh Ulta. I just don't know like Walmart. But yeah. So here's how it's looking. This one looks a little off. I just need to carve it out a little bit. Because I like this one. Just not liking the other one. But yeah. Sorry. Um, but now let's carve out my brows. So here I grab. Uh, let me use this and grab my concealer. Which, sorry about that, I accidentally messed up on something or dropped something, and so that's probably going to be edited out, so yeah. Um, but here I have this bamboo brush. These are the other brushes I was talking about. I do have like three brushes that are not eco tools or any type of eco-friendly thing, but they're just ones that I really like. Um, but yeah, and I'm including one of the most of my brow brushes because I um, I don't really have any eco-friendly, I don't see any like eco-friendly like brows or anything, I'll have to look it up, but I do need to go to TJ Maxx and I want to get one more brush because they have, they have, I frequently see the bamboo, bamboo products, so yeah, like brushes, like eco friendly. so yeah. I guess this is kind of intense for like a subtle look, but... Eh. Also, I just feel like it just looks. I don't know, it definitely looks way darker on camera than what it does, like, in person. Oh. Yeah, it's not that dark, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, like, honestly, I kind of look ridiculous on camera. Um, but whatever. Okay, now we're gonna blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna just go some of the excess powder on my brush. I'm just gonna thicken it a little bit. Okay. Um, but this is what my brows are looking like, and again, sorry if this is a long video, I always talk too much. <laughs> and my teeth, they look so yellow with this, like, ring light. It looks, like, creepy. My teeth are not this yellow in person. It looks ridiculous, so, sorry about that. And this concealer looks yellow in, on the ring light. Yeah, sorry this ring light makes stuff look a little more yellow. It's not as yellow. As you think, but yeah, let's move on. I'm gonna go with the Morphe palette. Um, I did not really plan out a look, so yeah. But I need this packing brush from Morphe. I have a big fluffy brush from Morphe and a packing one, so yeah, this is the R41. And I'm gonna go with this light shade right here. And just kind of slightly blend it on. 
and it's kind of just gonna be like our transition fade or whatever or just like you know shade to start off on highlights okay there we go um and since this is like such a quick subtle eyeshadow look i don't really care about pausing the video and then doing the other side so yeah now i'm gonna go with this kind of darker brown shade here and kind of create like a subtle wing like that it's not it doesn't have to be like perfect i don't know if this looks blue i used it in the last video that i tried filling but it wasn't heavy enough i'm gonna go with this big fluffy one r38 and kind of blend that out that's another thing i like to do i go with a little bit of eyeliner and then smudge it out which i think i may also do so i will be right back and grab this cute little mark jacobs bag i got it from tj maxx um it's really so cute and here i'm gonna grab this okay. And I kind of go like this. I kind of just like create a very small wing. Like that. And then I go like that. And then I go like And I'm just gonna kind of go like that and grab a brush here going with the black shade from the Morphe palette and just kind of bring it down just so like if I open my eyes it doesn't look like weirdly like one wing or sorry about that my dad was it's gonna be really something and I don't know not completely because I have a pan on the outside so yeah I did thrifting. Um, I'm also pointing this out. But yeah, I got the bag thrifting. Um, I love thrifting. Honestly, okay, you're probably not gonna believe me, but like, I mean, I was kind of, I was thrifting before. It's like a trend, honestly. Um, I don't mean to sound like one of those people. I guess I don't know that are just like, oh yeah, you listened to it before. It's a trend or whatever, like that kind of thing. But like, I mean. My mom can count me on that and my closet. Like, <laughs> but I want a little bit of concealer, just kind of, kind of give it some shape. I don't know. But now I'm gonna go with this shimmery shade here. Where is it? Um, like, sorry, kind of have it in my drawer. Um, I'm gonna go with this one again. I probably should just go shut my door and move that bag. Um, but this is what we're looking like. I had a a little bit of a shimmery shade not much um i think i'm gonna stick with that i don't know i'm debating if i wanted to put brown i think i will um yeah let's do that i'm just gonna put a little bit more of this brown kind of here just because i feel like maybe it was a little too empty looking because the shimmery shades are like, very subtle I'm also going with another, with the same shimmery shade. Not another one. Another one. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. Now we're gonna do some highlighter and lips and my eyes, and then we'll be done. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go with this strobe light stuff, liquid highlighter, which I heard was a dupe to like, kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury highlight, which I've had this for a while. I got it from a TJ Maxx one time. I just like to blend it out with my finger. A little. Should I put some cream blush on my nose? Yeah, let's do all the Okay, I'll go a little bit. 
and then finally saw my name but and it's like the tiniest bit dark but it's not that noticeable honestly once like blend it out it doesn't look very that bad so yeah um and then we're gonna do some mascara i'm gonna just go with smart jacob ones because my jacob's home because i just had it over here it's really nice honestly Sorry about my arm. I really like it. I have two of these new ones because um I felt like well I got one purse one and then there was another one that I got and they both had mascaras in them. And I'm obsessed with the Mark Jacobs mascara. Like it really performs high end quality. Okay, like, just look at my eyelashes. This looks really bad up close with makeup. Um, but it's not that bad, okay? Um, like, I don't know, I don't always, it's always on camera because I was like up close here putting on my mascara and like, it did not look bad. And I have like my phone camera on the mirror and then an actual mirror to touch, so yeah. But now I'm just gonna come through it. Sorry if you hear an airplane. We live near an airport, like Star City has one in it, so yeah. You don't hear it as much because of COVID and stuff. And it's like a small airport, so yeah. Okay. I swear this lash comb could make like your like clumpiest mascara ever look good. Um, but now we're gonna move on to lipstick, so let me grab So that. for lipstick, I'm actually gonna go with this one. Um, I'm gonna go with this ColourPop one. I'm kind of looking on like this and then blending it out. on top it may ruin it I'm not sure oh no it did not I love this stuff like it's kind of like a pumping gloss and it kind of has a mintiness to it and like it's not like pumping pain intense like the um Too Faced Lip Injections or the LA Girl one is also pretty painful um like it's not like that because it's not a very intense one but it still like pumps it up and it's kind of good for people who like don't like a super intense burning lip pumper you know it still gives off a nice yes. i'm also going with this bear with me setting spray so i like to go with a lot just to really make it set and just some of the drier skin i feel like i always have to go with so much um like setting spray but this is the look Honestly, um, I don't know. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, definitely try it. Um, the eyeliner thing I saw on TikTok a while ago, and I didn't see too many people try it. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like this video. Um, turn on your post notifications and subscribe. I said that. I did not say that in the same order, but whatever. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video, and bye.